This is Twit. I thought it was interesting that uh, Skype has an, uh, Microsoft and Skype have announced a partnership with Signal. Um, we're very bullish about Signal. It is, you know, we did a podcast on it. We've talked about it a number of times. I took a, a deep dive and completely read the spec. And our listeners will remember that I, as I'm beginning to read the spec, I'm thinking, oh, my Lord, has this thing been over-designed? You know, because I'm always about keeping it simple. But this thing is just nuts. And um, But as I continue to read and understood what much bigger than I expected set of problems it was solving, I realized why Moxie and company had done what they had done. And, and I just, I mean, they really, really thought this thing through well. They, they solved very difficult to solve problems in a, in a, in a way that's like problems for which there's no perfect solution, but they did a beautiful set of compromises that with no compromise in security. So I thought, okay, this is interesting that Skype is going to get this. Um, what we need to remember, however, is that because there's a lot of, you know, hand waving about how Signal is an open source protocol and open protocol, which we know makes a lot of sense. It allows someone like me to read the protocol and say, OK, I don't see any problems here. And in fact, I see a lot of good, which can't happen. You know that. What is that? That um, the BitTorrent protocol still undocumented. No no transparency. Sync, yeah. Yes. Everyone wants to know what I think. I don't think anything because, you know, except their name and reputation, but there's no documentation. They want they, they, you know, their, their press guy was hounding me for a while to talk about it. And I said, well, I would love to, but I need something to talk about. And, you know, and we do technology here, not, you know, just regurgitate press releases that somebody else wrote. So, you know, I, I just keep saying, OK, it'd be nice to say something I could about Signal because it's fully laid out. But it's also important to recognize that Skype is not open source and that the given a fully proper implementation of Signal with Skype, what we get is the strength that Signal offers for for preventing interception and some of the extra features that Signal brings, which are that those clever bits about like how do you handle somebody wanting to send you a message when you're not there and they need a token. So you know, your client has posted a bunch of, of, of available ones on a common server. I mean, you know, Signal did a lot of things right. But, but we don't know, for example, that Skype itself – isn't able to respond to a court order. It couldn't probably through signal if it's a faithful implementation of the signal protocol. But remember that, that the signal protocol only protects the data in transit, not at either end after it emerges, after it emerges from signal or before it goes in for that encryption. So, so because it's all packaged into a Skype client, there could be any kind of, you know, other means for uh, secreting the communications out. So it's certainly nice, but I, I sort of wanted to temper the any concept that, oh, this means that Skype itself is absolutely secure and we can, you know, send state secrets back and forth. No, um, it's sort of good that it is but it in, in in my opinion in no way does this even make it more safe because while it's nice to have signal connecting the endpoints you know that's you know as we know security tends to attack the weakest link and the weakest link in the chain is absolutely no longer the the end to end encryption but it's everything else and there's plenty of everything else to attack in, in in a scenario like this. You know, malware on either endpoint or features, undocumented features that allow 
Skype to respond to court orders, which, uh, if not yet part of the law, is you know frightening, threatening, uh, frighteningly threatening to become part of the law. So, anyway, it's nice, but I'm not sure that it really actually changes the uh, the the security profile. I'm I would be far more inclined if I was really concerned about security to use a, a fully open source solution that is where even the client itself is open source. And of course, if you really want to go all the way, you use source code that has been fully vetted and you build it in a, in a clean room environment. So you know that the, you know, something about the client and, and where it came from. So, uh, you know, that's certainly not what Skype is, but so anyway, I, it's not clear that, you know, what a lot we're getting from that, but, uh, at least end to end encryption will be strong. Thanks to signal. 